Women at a women's conference. She wants to inspire the women that come to the conference to go to a vision wall and put a picture of something they would like to achieve up in the next five years. This is Vicki's Pathway presentation, the Mastery Path Level 3 project. Inspire your audience, Vicki Chatterton. introduced to vision boards about 2006. That's when I read the success principles and he talked about vision boards. Now, the concept had been around for quite some time, I didn't realize that, but in the movie The Secret, John Asra talks about his vision boards and how they affected his life. This past year, I've been doing vision board workshops and they've been really interesting, working with people, having them put things on a board that they wish to achieve within, within the next five years. And I get calls from these people telling me, you'll never believe it. That house that I just put, that I put on my vision board, I'm purchasing one that's almost exactly like it, and I get very excited for them. I was talking to fellow Toastmasters at a conference in August, and I was telling them about vision boards, and I said, you know, I didn't realize that even though I wasn't putting my pictures on a board, I had visions of what I wanted from a very young age. I can remember as a child picturing that I would have a house and that would be filled with children. And that was from a very young age. And it's just one of those things that lingered with me. Now, it was a fuzzy picture though. I never had a clear picture of the house. But by the time I was 19, I owned my first house and was pregnant with my child. And I didn't realize that that is something that I had thought about and pictured in my mind and achieved. And then another time, my family and I were visiting Disneyland. And I was on top of this ride that's no longer there, but it was called the Boomeranger. And it was this ride that would just drop you. And I hate rides where you feel like you're falling. Why I went on this, I didn't realize it was so that I could get a view of the park. And in that view was the California Hotel that Disney is on its property. And I looked at that while I'm sitting there anticipating this huge drop, but getting this mental picture and thinking, that's where we're going to stay the next time we come to Disneyland. Of course, I didn't know how we were going to do it because that hotel is rather expensive. And I didn't know when the next time we would be visiting Disneyland because we live in Washington State. Lo and behold, a couple years later, my family and I are traveling back down and we're staying in that hotel that now has the view of the park that we get to see. And it was amazing. And then I realized, hey, I can start thinking about these things that I want. What happens if I start doing vision boards? I start doing what I am talking about. That's a novel concept. A lot of times we're all talk and no action. I figured if I'm going to do this and tell people vision boards are the best thing to do, I need to have one myself. And very trepidantly, I put pictures on there, not knowing that this was the correct thing to do because I know how powerful vision boards are. And I put the Eiffel Tower and Zuma right together. And I didn't know what was going on, but that's how it was placed. Come to find out, the Zuma organization was having one of their events at a Club Med in Paris this year. <laughs> And I got an invitation to go. Now, I declined the invitation. However, I was like, pretty powerful. If I'm able to do this, and I, people say, oh, it was coincidence and stuff. I think that it's inspired actions. I had one person on their vision board put names of different cities. But these cities were like Bangkok and Taiwan and all of these foreign places. And then, two weeks later, I saw that she put 
on Facebook. I just applied for my passport. I'm so excited I've never had one. She took inspired action because if she wants to be able to go to these places and have them come true, she's going to need a passport. So she's taking the action when the opportunity arises for her vision to come true. She has got that. I am speaking at a women's conference and I was invited to talk about vision boards because of how passionate I am about them. And I'm very excited. There's a lot of men in the room here, as well as women. But I would like to invite you to come down to the convention center sometime Saturday because we're going to have a big wall. And if there's something that you would like for the women in your life to accomplish, whether it be empowered, whether it's a vision you have for them, you're more than welcome to come down between 9 and 5 and put what you would like for women to achieve as well. And the women here as well are able to come down. We're going to be right in the middle. You don't have to pay to be part of the conference. This wall is for everybody in the community, and I'm letting everybody know. But what we put on there sends out wonderful energy and vibrations, and it's just going to be a magnificent event, and I look forward to seeing everybody. Toastmaster.